They are getting ready. That's right, musicians from all over Prince George's County are preparing for this weekend's County Musician Assessment Festival, where bands and orchestras will be graded on their performances. The fun begins this Friday night at Wise High School. Among the schools getting ready is Bishop McNamara. Byron Scott has our story. <laughs> Since we got back from Christmas, starting to sight read music to prepare for our Prince George's County Music Assessment that is this Friday evening, uh, March 24th at Wise High School. We'll be taking three groups to county assessment, um, our wind ensemble, our symphonic band, and our orchestra. And we have our guest conductor, guest clinician from Towson University who's going to give them some feedback on that, Dr. Chris Chaconi. How many of you guys listen when you're playing? I try to give them a lot of insight into the piece, a lot of, the, of insight into being more musical. Yes, so I try to just take it all in at first and then I start listening for basic things like intonation, is the group together. Um, it, it, on the rubric it's called musical effect. Basically, can they get from the beginning to the end? Mm -hmm. The louder you play, the harder it is to keep tempo, to keep that tempo moving forward. This group uh, is a very, very strong group and they've got some great senior leaders um, and I think they're doing well. We, uh, the week before festival is always a telling week to see how they come together. <laughs> That we're mostly supposed to be highlighting what the rest of the group is playing. So I mostly focus on counting and playing at the same time as everybody else, of course, and also not playing too loud over them so that, you know, it's more of just a push for the rest of the audience to understand that this part of the song is more important, you know? Vertical alignment is, is key. Um, you have to stay, stay aligned with, with everybody and make sure you're listening so that you can know if you're playing too loud or if another part needs to come out or if your part needs to come out. Um, intonation, make sure you listen, like, listening is key just to, so that all the parts line up and all the parts are, are in tone with each other. Up for two, down for one. I like the clarinet because it kind of in each piece you have elements of the melody, the counter melody, and it has it has a focus that some instruments might not have. It has fun rhythms and and I don't know, I think it's a it's a piece, it's an instrument that can do a lot. They they know they can play it. I mean it's fine, it sounds really good. And so I try to give just a little bit of insight on how we can take that to the next to the next level. After he worked with us, I really feel like we sound like a band, like we sound like a team. Um, and I think if we embrace what he was talking about here today um, on our concert on Friday, I think we'll definitely do very well. Again, the performance is at Wise High School this weekend. Then the orchestra, band, and choir will board six buses next week and drive overnight to Orlando where they will perform at Universal Studios. Good for them.